The February 2025 updates to Visual Studio Code make Copilot an even more powerful AI pair programmer. For starters, until now, GitHub Copilot in VS Code's editor worked from your cursor position. Next edit suggestions means Copilot can now offer suggestions on the next edit you might need based on the changes you've been making. We started creating a runner class, but after creating the constructor, we get an error because we forgot to set up the fields. Next edit suggestions detects we probably want those fields, so makes those suggestions. We can manually accept or reject by using the icon on the left or select tab to complete the operation. Next edit suggest and then suggests a get info method to provide read access to the runner data. Let's accept these by selecting tab to move to the edit and then tab again to perform the accept. Now it's time to add in shoe preferences. Copilot suggests brand and size, and after creating the interface, next edit suggestions realizes we likely want this on the runner. It adds the field, the update to the constructor, and then finally to the get info method, allowing me to tab through all the suggestions and code that much faster. Looking at a larger task, we have a website called Runner Tracks, which has a page that shows the results of a race. We want to improve the paging for our table as there can often be a lot of participants. We can use Copilot Chat to make a change to the spell file we have open here. I'm gonna use the model picker and choose one of our newest options, OpenAI's O3 Mini. We ask Copilot Chat to make the buttons look prettier, then apply the suggested changes. Let's check, and yes, those blue buttons look much nicer, so let's accept the change. With that complete, Let's keep iterating. We want to let the user select how many rows they want on each page. This will require more than just one file change. Copilot edits can make suggestions across a number of files. We can let Copilot find the files to change, but let's add in a few files to the working set and then ask for the change. You'll see in this case, I'm using Claude 3.5 Sonnet demonstrating the ability to select different models. Copilot Edits has the suggested changes to all three of those files in one go. It even gives me a summary of the changes it's made. Let's save, take a look at the site, and there we go, a working dropdown to select how many rows the table should display. However, our team has even more suggestions for the UI. And what more common way to explain what they want than a screenshot with some hand-drawn markup? Until now, Copilot Chat could only work with text, but now Copilot has vision capabilities. We can attach the image by pasting and ask Copilot to implement the changes shown in the image. We'll apply those changes, save the file, have a look at our website, and sure enough, the column alignment has been fixed and just from a screenshot. Let's turn our attention to an even more complex task. Our Runner Tracks website has a page listing races, and we want the ability to search for a race by name. This is going to require changes to a number of files in our project services, server side code, UI, and tests. Copilot now supports agent mode, allowing it to reason and iterate over an entire project to perform complex operations. Copilot starts by exploring our project to determine what updates need to be made. It begins updating the backend service and then the UI, making the necessary changes. Once it completes those, it turns its attention to the tests, the unit tests for the service and the page, and the end-to-end -end tests. With the tests updated, we're then prompted to run the unit tests. Our unit tests fail because the existing ones didn't align with the new functionality. Copilot detects this issue and makes the changes, prompting us to then rerun the tests. When those succeed, we're prompted then to run the end-to-end -end tests. We can see I forgot to stop another testing process that was using the port. Fortunately, Copilot is there to help me out, generating the command to stop the process and run the tests. Everything passes, and if I look at the website one more time, I can see the new functionality. Finally, let's build some backend services. We want to allow our RunnerTracks website the ability to associate races with fundraisers. 
we need a fundraiser service modeled like the other ones we have in our app. It needs to understand the structure and the schema we've been using in the rest of our code base. If we ask Copilot naively to create the service, it lacks the necessary context to both understand that underlying schema and how we want the service to be constructed. Context is key whenever we're working with AI. Let's start things over, but this time we'll reference a prompt file to give more specific information about how we want things implemented. Prompt files are markdown files kept in the .github slash prompts folder of your project. They can even reference other files, in this case, a Prisma schema that describes the shape of our database. We have notes about our code preferences, and we've even included a template for how we want our services constructed. When we send the prompt again, you can see that extra context means Copilot does a much better job this time. This looks like exactly what we want, thanks to Copilot and our prompt file. With the new updates to Visual Studio Code and GitHub Copilot, you have an additional set of capabilities to allow you to be even more productive.